Um, so here's just the one thing I want to talk about briefly, uh, mainly for the benefit of those of us uh, using uh, Nebraska Libraries on the web. We are currently running uh, WordPress 4, uh, and WordPress 4.1 is available, and I, we will be upgrading to that probably early next week, if nothing else, because I don't want to make changes and leave down uh, for a long weekend. Um, so right now, this is just an example post on uh, on Nebraska Libraries on the website. What I want to show you real quickly here is here is an image, and what people have been familiar with, if I click on this image, is this pencil and the X. The X deletes the image where the pencil takes you into the image detail where you can change things like align, uh, size, and what you're linking to. And this is what we've been familiar with. Uh, the one change I've noticed in WordPress 4.1, which I'm showing you here on a uh, image uh, on a website, on my own personal website that's running 4.1, so when you click on the image, they've actually added some new icons to that. So you have the X for remove and the pencil for edit, which does take you into the image details. But the coolest thing I found is they've added the four buttons to change the images. <clears throat> excuse me, alignment right here. So you can change to align left, align center, align right, or no alignment uh, kind of in a single one-click result as opposed to having to go into the edit image, change the alignment, and click update. So they've removed some clicks. Very, very handy, I found, where you've, you've put that image in your text and you put it in the wrong place and you just want to change that alignment. So there's the one extra new WordPress thing that uh, I wanted to add to this, and I will probably chop this out and make it its own little uh, instructional video for our project website.